Hi guys, another question of prelims 2022 that is related to previous year questions but it is not directly solvable through any of the PYQs uh, is given in the rightmost part of your screen in the column headed prelims 2022 question. Now while this question is not directly solvable through any of the uh, PYQs, the PYQs help us in foreseeing this question the pre pyqs help us in expecting this question that is their significance and also this particular question uh, although it is of history can be done through common sense how it can be done we'll look at uh, in this video so let us first see the pyq we have here many many questions have been asked on this theme the theme is of the government of india act of 1919 so since 1979 many questions have been asked one particular question of our interest here is uh, uh, um, given on your screen this question was asked in 2015 it read the government of india act of 1919 clearly defined the answer is bravo bravo says the jurisdiction of central and provincial governments so what were the uh, uh, subjects which the provincial governments could now control is one step ahead of this particular question right so if you have gone through this question and there are many other questions also regarding this particular law this reforms uh, but still like the 2022 question is one step ahead of the 2015 question the 2015 question stopped at uh, this uh, differentiation of jurisdictions of the central and provincial governments the next step would be what were the subjects which the provincial governments got and this is what has been asked in 2022 so in this manner the 2022 question uh, was expected and in fact this question is solvable through your ncrt's it is given in your ncrt's your standard books and uh, if you have gone through this pyq and in fact the other pyq is also related to this theme you would be having this curiosity uh, about studying uh, for what is asked in the 2022 question let us now come to the 2022 question i told you that this question uh, although of history can be done through common sense it does not does not require any specific knowledge to solve this question how it can be done is let us first read the question it says in this particular law the government of india act of 1919 the functions of provincial governments were divided into reserved and transferred subjects right which of these were treated as reserved subjects so if you are looking at the context the you know era when this law was passed we are looking at we are talking about the colonial uh, government the colonial government what was the main purpose exploitation you know get enriched at the cost of the natives right so their main purpose was to profit from uh, their exploits in India and to do that they would keep all the important things under their control. The stronger the government control, the colonial government control, the more they would be able to exploit the country and profit from the country's resources, right? So they will want to keep all the important things under their belt and whatever is unimportant, they are just giving, you know, doling it out to the people of India, the natives, just to, uh, uh, you know, dissuade them from having too much of political activism. So we are looking at reserved subjects. The question is asking you to identify the reserved subjects out of the list of four. We told you, uh, like we have, uh, we could see, you know, what will be reserved subjects? Reserved for whom? Reserved for the colonial government, right? Transferred, the other is transferred subjects. Transferred to whom? Transferred to the natives. So reserved subjects will be the important ones. So let us come to the list. It says, the second entry says local self-government. Now this has to be in the transferred list, right? It cannot be in the reserved list because the name itself says that it is local self-government. The locals will govern themselves, local self-government. This has to be in the transferred list. So this will not in the answer. This will not be in the answer. If second is not in the answer, look at the options. We can eliminate alpha, we can all eliminate bravo, we can eliminate delta and directly we come to the answer that is Charlie. Right. So, guys, this is how questions get solved. Uh, it is not that, you know, just the PYQs are the end all of everything. If you just mug up the PYQs, you'll be able to solve questions. Sometimes directly, yes, that information is helpful, but you need to keep an open mind, logical thinking, and certainly you are going to get, you know, a lot of help in your exam. You're going to do well. 
uh, compared to when you have not studied, you have not gone through the PYQ. So do not miss the PYQs from 1979 onwards. This question will be a part of the repeat questions analysis PDF. The PDF costs Rs. 99. All the uh, relevant details will be given in the description of this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. See you next time.